Um, you know, the next area which Johnny um, touched on re really, really nicely uh, is, is really around compliance, security, privacy, and cyber. And, um, you know, we're seeing this as a real inhibitor, actually, um, to, to rolling out uh, comprehensive analytics programs. Because organizations are worried, you know, Johnny flashed up the EU directive earlier on, which is really putting the power um, back in the hands of the of the of 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 of, of, of consumers and the data owners. Um, but there's huge complexity for organisations, right? So every time we're, we're looking at data, you're thinking about, you know, do I have permission to collect it? Number one, um, do I have permission to process it in a certain way? Um, where am I going to store it? You know, what are, how long am I allowed to store it for? Um, when do I need to delete it? And you know, if you think of organisations then that 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 work across border, you know, that becomes hugely complex to actually define all those requirements, but more importantly, to monitor them as well. And that's a real challenge, uh, and that's a real difficulty for a lot of organisations taking that big step towards analytics. And I think very related to that is, um, you know, organisations, 19% of them, have a real fear then around. Um, you know, either not complying to those regulations or, or losing them. You know, we had a very simple example, obviously, with, with Irish Water actually recently, um, uh, with PPS numbers, which got a lot of media coverage around how PPS numbers were, were, were being used. And I think there's a massive, you know, increase in awareness for consumers. Uh, you know, a really close focus on actually um, how the data, their personal data, has been used and processed. And then the final area um, of risk is, is, is really around cyber. You know, if data is going to be core uh, and, and data is a key strategic asset, uh, you know, you're really more vulnerable then to, uh, to cyber attacks. You know, you'll do all this great work to try and concentrate and pull data sources together. Um, but, you know, that can increase the risk of, risk of cyber. And interestingly for me is that, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty clear that people see that risk. 44% of, of the respondents identify that. But on the flip side, you know, only 10% of respondents saw that analytics can actually help with the cyber risk, right? So what do we mean by that is that when, when you think of organizations uh, being hacked or, 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 or you know, uh, or, or being attacked, you know, analytics has a huge role to play in actually the ability to apply sophisticated monitoring to either find those attacks and investigate them really well.